also a student at the University of Rochester. They all are also musicians at Eastman. That's how I know them. Anyway, it looks like we're getting started. Is this wall? Wolf. Waffle. Waffle. Right. Waffle the peach. Squidman 808. The fox. Striking to dreamland. Interesting. I guess gives a lot of space to move around. You can feel your opponent out, but you would expect uh, you would expect the fox to not want to go here. Although, well, because because like, Peach can kind of ban Battlefield and Yoshi's, and then force the fox to pick out of the, the the last three. So that's true. That is tough. Um, one thing that should be noted is that Squidman 808 uh, is somewhat famous in uh, the circles in the know for counterpicking Mewtwo King to FD. So he took <laughs> Mewtwo King to FD. He was not scared. And I, I think he took a stock. So, you know, he, hey, er, he earned cool. the right to play there, to hang with the big boys. So he's not afraid of the I can, stages I can that uh, benefit particular characters. That's my Massive cookies. Wow. The, uh, Enormous. The, the uh, cafeteria here seems like it's got like crazy big cookies, so that's exciting. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nair sends Peach, you know, across the stage and halfway towards the blast zone, but nothing going on. We got dash dancing, we got dash attacks. Yeah, we got I've, more dash uh, attacks. I've seen a uh, little bit of waffle, and he lo definitely looks really solid. Yeah, we actually played against nice him in doubles, and he was very solid. And he is milking this stock, mm -hmm. just like not dying. That's just like you the never, life of the floaty, though. You know what I that's mean? That's true. You never, you never want to see your opponent live like to like ooh, 170 percent. It starts to get unfun for Fox because <laughs> you just, you just keep getting these good hits, and you, it's hard, so hard to edge guard Peach sometimes. Oh, calls out that air dodge. All right, making it happen any way you can. Although ooh. could get gimped right here. Although this is not Armada, so. Oh, okay. It's Armada. Great edge card. Confirmed Armada is in the house. <laughs> so full two, full two stock lead. Looking really solid right now. Yeah, I mean, just the, just the fact that he's able to live so long and not get gimped is huge because on this level, Peach is going to live forever. Mm -hmm. Fox dies kind of early wherever you take him. So it's tough for Squidman right now. And he's just like, he's looking for an air. He's looking for an air to connect to something. Near shine, and then he gets it and gets jabbed after he connects. That was because of uh, aerial shine, and then he had like no lag once he hit the ground, I think. Ah, uh, I see. He's not really pulling a whole lot of turnips, but uh, he's making them count when he does. I know that's not like a super, super important thing in this matchup outside of edge guarding, as opposed to like the Marth matchup or something, but. Right. But every little bit he's, counts, Yeah, right? he's definitely not getting punished for pulling them or, you Yeah, know. for sure. It's kind of like uh, Leffen with the lasers, right? Like, mm. he gets little lasers in here and there, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds on percent, and then suddenly you get that big hit that would have uh, almost killed because you got all that extra damage and ends up actually killing. Um, yeah, so this makes sense. Peach was living a long time. Mm. Uh, I don't think he necessarily even would have wanted um, Stadium, although Stadium might have been banned. But right. I think this will work out better for Squidman just because most of the big hits he was getting were like these nares and bears. Yeah, nair, like yeah. get, he was hitting them off stage, sideways. He wasn't really getting a lot of the upward stuff. Not a lot of like up throw up air or up smash or anything like that. Right. That's actually one thing that, that kind of like. Ooh, oh, all right, there's nice. up smash. <laughs> but um, Fox's jab is like so broken at like mid to like high percent on hmm. Peach because like if they're not like basically smash DIing it out like preemptively. Like, they're eating up Smash, basically. That's Especially true. Especially on, like, a stage like this. Like, 70%, that's going to kill, so. Yeah. I don't remember him throwing out a jab. Um, this set yet, so. Squidman. He could be he could be saving oh. it. Ooh, and that's, right. that's the fear. <laughs> that is the fear, and that was the jab we were all waiting for. And it forced the air dodge. That We call that a forced error. <laughs> No, that's definitely not close there. <laughs> but he takes the stock back. So even though it's an even stock count, um, Waffle has been playing stronger, although sort of slipping up. Oh, now we're getting something going. Nair to Nair to spot dodge. 
Yeah, that's like Nairs gets so much on these like heavier floaties like Samus and Peach. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, you gotta be so wary of the crouch cancel. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I mean Waffle's throwing out a ton of down uh dash attacks. Mm -hmm. It's like if dash attack and down smash. If Squidman can figure out a way to sort of bait them a little bit, there's certain spacings where you know that your opponents will want to do certain moves. And like you can be a certain distance away from Peach after she does an aerial that kinda like doesn't really hit you. Like right there. Ooh. Yeah. Alright. Okay, nice. Uh, Ooh. Alright, evens it up. Not a last stock. Peach probably looking for a dash attack. We got Sweet joining us on the mic. Sweet. That was good. Talk to us. How are you doing, baby? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing amazing right now because I am next to Sweet. Aww. And uh, this weekend is Fight Pit 6 happening at, uh, I'm assuming, Student Union again. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the 16th and the 17th, I think. 16th, 17th, yeah. two-day tournament. Uh, one of the first like big tournaments I traveled to was Fight Pit 5. Fight Pit 5. 